Hello everyone, this is Fanny. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a few DIYs using Dollar Tree items. But today, I'm participating on the Dollar Tree Mystery Box hosted by Sami over Unicorn Design. Alright, she's hosting this challenge or this hope and it's really fun. And I actually going to open with you my mystery box. I'm really excited and I'm really nervous at the same time. So here is my mystery box. It's kind of heavy. So I don't know what to say. So Kathy Jo sent to me my mystery box. Let's open this box. So I have my little scissors over here. So let me try to move the camera a little bit so you can see. Oh, how it is. Um, how I do this? I got my bags open. Let's show you guys. It smells really nice. Alright. So I'm going to start with the first one. It's this one. And it's a little greenery. Okay. Not too scary. <laughs> Alright. We have eucalyptus. Okay. Please you can see. I'm really having a hard time to show. Okay. Oh, I like those. Those are nice. Okay, I'm not too scary anymore. Okay, no, so far. I got those. Oh, I really like those. I think they're so cute. Okay. I got those. Ah, you're kind of scary. Okay. Sounds like good, okay. Oh, okay. I like this. I like it what I got so far. <laughs> so I got the bamboo cutting board. So yeah. We have another little package like this. Okay, I got a yeah, a burlap bag. Okay, I'm supposed to craft with the items that she got. She sent me so. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> okay, I got this. Oh, my hand is getting dirty. So here is another. Comes like this. And drop it. Oh, I love this. This is a oh, tape pullover. This little frame is so cute as it is. Oh, I didn't even want to DIY this. <laughs> I think it's really cute. Okay. You've been doing good so far, girl. Okay, we have another one. Another frame, I guess. No. Oh, no. Oh, I like this. Oh, I love this. Oh, yeah. Kathy, thank you. I really like this. So now I'm not so nervous about what I'm going to make with all these items. Wood planks. Those are great. Um, oh, no. <laughs> I got this. And I already saw it here. A hula hoop skirt. What I okay, <laughs> I got this, Kathy. <laughs> okay, I got this. Oh my goodness, I have three more items still. I have this little 
This is. Oh, okay. We can figure out something with this. <laughs> I got those little. How do you call this? It's like small balls. You know, they want to use for a sauce. Sauce. Okay. <laughs> I got those. Okay, those come in the package of four. I still have two more items. All right. Let's get this big one. I got this. Oh, I like this one. Oh, I really like this one. This is really nice. Okay, wall chalk. What I'm going to make with them? I do not know. <laughs> All right, and we have a final so far. I think I'm not too nervous anymore. All right, so we have one more, one more. Oh, this one coming back. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh no. I got a mini pen. Okay, this one is tricky. Oh no. Okay, <laughs> this is my last item for the Mr. Box. And I do not know what I'm going to make with this. This is kind of tricky, but um, we'll figure it out. So, yeah, thank you, Kathy, for all the items that you sent me. Okay, now. Let's go and have fun. Before to start, I want to apologize if I'm congested. I've been feeling a little bit under the weather these past few days. I'm sorry if I am even harder to understand. <laughs> so let's get started. So for a first DIY, I will be using some of the fun items that I got. And as you can see, that wooden shelf is really nice. So I'm just going to be removing the plastic first. And then I'm also going to be removing the string out of the little shelf. Just like so. So once I have removed the strings, now I'm just going to be saving uh, the strings for the next DIY. And for now, I'm just going to use some of those dowels, also from Dollar Tree, and just place it on it. Those fit just right on the holes of that little shelf. So I just add some hot glue, and there you have it. So now we basically have the base of the launder that we're going to create. So I'm going to be using the raffia scarf, <laughs> Hawaiian scarf, I don't know, hula hoop I call it, but I, I might say it wrong. So uh, first I'm going to be untying the ends to make sure that I will have enough to cover the entire frame. So I'm going to be doing that, as you can see. And then when I had untie the ends, I'm going to try to separate the raffia on the string to be able to see how much I had and if I had enough to cover the entire frame. And now I'm going to be using some hot glue and just add some on the corners just to be able to keep in place the string. And then just play around until I got 
then tie raffia attach it on the frame I'm going to go ahead and spread it out uh, a little bit the raffia uh, strings as you can see and then add her glue to be able to keep it in place so I will be doing that with the entire frame so I have all the raffia ready to go but before I start to creating a design I went ahead and cut two more pieces of dowels and place it in each side to have better control of the shape of the dowels when I start to add in the strings so as you can see the design that I'm going to be doing here is really simple all I'm going to be doing is just doing it crosses so I started with the corner and then just bring that string to the other corner creating that cross or X so I will be repeating that with the entire frame so I did that with both sizes the larger sizes first and then for the edges we're going to be doing something different so when I was done with that I realized that I have extra on one side so I thought it's okay because that will, will help me to create a another design for the lantern so I went ahead and did a braid So I did two braids in there and then with that braid I'm going to basically wrapping around the entire lantern and that definitely will give you a better nice finished look. But before I do that I'm going to be finishing the, the sizes of the lantern so as you can see we have a lot of lead over. So here I just showing and uh, that I just grab each end and then just make it double knot cut excess and basically I'm going to be repeating the same thing over and over just like so so once I was done with that that's how it looks like now we still have the other part of the side as you can see so I have actually six strings so I grab I made divisions of two and basically what I did was just wrapping around on my finger just to twist it a little bit to have better control of the raffia and then I just bring it up and then add a little bit of hot glue and then I just did like a double twister on the dowel that is on the top and then cut excess and then I will be doing the same thing with the rest of the strings once I had all complete I also add more dots of hard glue here and there just to keep the raffia in place so now I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other side once I have both sides complete now we're going to be using the braid that we did before and basically I'm just going to be wrapping around the edges and that will give a really nice finished look like I mentioned before but I also is going to reinforce the dowels so as you can see uh, after I wrap it the entire lantern I still had a little lead silver of the braid so I went ahead and make like a little loop and place it right on the front where it was a little gap and there's no gap anymore in there and voila so basically that is it for this one I think it came out absolutely beautiful it was a little bit challenging so here I'm just going to be adding the eucalyptus branch and just to add some little chic touch to the eucalyptus branch I'm just going to be adding some of this cute little ribbon and wrap around just a little bit the bottom of the stem so I just add a little bit of hair glue and voila and after that i just going to be placing it on the lantern and there you have it and basically that is it for this one i think it came out absolutely beautiful you can just change the 
greenery all year around or you can also use lead candles inside it will look absolutely beautiful or even fairy lights absolutely gorgeous so i really hope you guys enjoy it so let me know what do you guys think Before to move on to the next DIY, I would like to mention that we have a Mr. Box giveaway. And how you enter into this giveaway, you must visit each creator's channel and answer the mystery question in the comments. That is it. So, one winner will be announced in North Community Tab, the 6621. So my mystery question is, what do you think about the way I use the raffia on my first DIY? So move on to the next DIY, uh, I'm going to be using uh, two of the items that I got on the box and also some stencils from Dollar Tree. Alright, so here with the lead over raffia, I'm basically going to be making like a little tassel so I grab a little bunch and then an extra piece and then basically going to be tied it on the middle part or oh, no right on the top with all the extra piece double knot and voila so then basically trimming the bottle just to have an even tassels so i will do a five of those to be able to use those later on on the project super quick and easy as you can see as you know i really like to use tassels on my projects and i even have a dedicated video just to make tassels and garland uh, all right so now we're going to be using the bamboo cutting bar and also the linen bag oh yeah i think it's a linen bag i say put love bag before but i think it's linen <laughs> All right, I removed the plastic on it and I won't be doing anything on the little board for now. What I'm going to be doing in here is just cutting the top of the back. So I went ahead and used the board to mark it down where I'm going to cut. Cut the top part using one handle of the back. So I also remove some of the strings just to give it that really nice uh, boho look to the fabric. Once I was happy with that, now I'm going to be placing the fabric on the cutting board. So as you can see, right on the top, using a little bit of hand glue. I also going to be gluing the handle right on the back of the board and then bring it up just to have a small handle on the board, just like so. So now we have the fabric on the board, it looks so cute. So it's time to bring back the little tassels and basically I'm going to be placing 
right on the bottle so place it on the back of the frame just to make it look nicer so once I had the little tassel placed it on it I went ahead and cut the excess then I'm going to be cutting an extra piece of fabric just to be able to cover the tassels right on the back just to have better finish or clean looks on the back just like that just add a little bit of hot glue and there you have it and at this point I think this little frame looks cute already so what we're going to be doing is using some stencil and some acrylic paint so here I'm going to be using a different technique that I recently found out um, using a little pump pump so the pump pump will basically absorb the paint and will not add so much paint to the fabric because when you add paint on the fabric tend to drip so much and it did in some specific areas but that was my fault <laughs> i kind of pushed it down the pump a couple times and yeah but uh, if i was keeping just tapping around a little bit it would be just perfect but anyway i was happy with the results i really think they came out so cute <laughs> and it's so simple and easy to make but I always want to know what you guys think, so let me know in the comments down below. If this is your first time in my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and welcome. I do quick and easy DIYs on a budget. And if it that interests in you, I would love to stick around for more DIY and consider hit the subscribe button, also the bell, and you will get notified every time I upload any video and you won't miss anything. And for now, let's keep crafting. Alright, our next DIY. This one, <laughs> I must say, when I saw that mini fan, I was like, no way. <laughs> I was like, what I am going to do with this? So, here we go. I'm basically going to pull apart the entire little mini fan. So, let's do that. All right, I have the little mini fan pull it apart. I also remove the little motor inside. I save it, probably I will use it for something else <laughs> later on. I also got those little mini balls for, I don't know, for sauce. <laughs> and I thought, you know what? I think I know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to be attaching those pieces together just like so using high glue but you can also use another kind of uh, another kind of glue like E6000 or any other strong glue if you prefer for video's purpose I just using high glue right now so I am going to be attaching those as you can see and then I'm going to be using some spray paint that I have around and give it two really good coat on unfortunately it was raining and i forgot uh, that i left it outside so the inside got dripping so yeah but not a problem i add a little container on the top and look at that so cute so here i was just playing around showing some ideas with different candles so that really looks really nice and at the end i think i was so happy with the result of the candle holders i think they came out so cute and so model looking oh what do you guys think please let me know in the comments down below definitely it was fun and challenging <laughs>
all right for the next diy i'm going to be using the wooden planks and basically i'm going to be making little boxes so um i glue two pieces like that like a corners and then i'm just going to be placing both together and voila so i'm going to reinforce the corners of each box by adding a small pieces of a fabric and let's over from the back using some tacky glue uh, it will add more texture to the bags but also reinforce Alright, we have the little boxes, now I'm just going to be adding some of this leather ribbon, I think it's really cute, so I'm just going to be adding three strings, just like that. So I will do the same with the other little box. Once I have both bags ready, now we're going to cover the stuff inside just to make it look nicer so and I also going to be using the leftover string for the wooden shelf so I'm going to be placing the strings on the box as a hangers so I did cut one of the strings a little bit shorter just to have different lengths so I went ahead and just used a little bit of hot glue and I used the the side of with the ribbon just to have direction right once i was done with that now i'm going to be using more leftover fabric to cover the messy look inside so like that the little bags will look really nice and clean inside Those little planters look cute already, so now I'm just going to put it back the strings on the little ring to be able to have the hanging part ready. Alright, once I was done with that, now I'm going to be placing some succulents inside of the little planter. So now what I'm going to be doing is using some double tape and place it right on the top. So like that, we'll keep the succulents in place and going to be right on top, really nice. And I don't have to be uh, filling the bags with anything only because the bottom part of the bags is not closed complete so it would be a mess if I add something else so I thought this was a really um, practical idea so once I had the tape ready I just went ahead and placed the little succulents on it and oh my goodness I just love it I just think it came out absolutely If you're still watching, I have a bonus for you. Do you remember that piece? That was part of the mini fan. So I also got the succulents on the frame. So I thought that would be just perfect to make a little stand. And yes, I just hot glued them together and voila. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. What do you guys think? And that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoy it. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to go check it out. The link on my description box below. So you will find out who is next on the hub. And good luck everyone with the giveaway. God bless you all and see you guys next time. Ciao, ciao.